eye of Thoth, because it was restored eventually by Thoth. Horus had lost his left eye, went to Thoth and asked Thoth to repair it for him. Two eyes of Horus, the right eye being the eye of Ra, and the left eye being the eye of Thoth. The clues to locate the eye of Thoth may be found in another Da Vinci masterpiece. Anne Boleyn lived in the same house in her late teenage years as Leonardo da Vinci. And today, we believe that there's a painting that represents their meeting. And that painting is referred to today as La Belle Ferronière, the Iron Maker's daughter. The hair and the light bouncing off of the strands of her hair adjacent to her part line are actually forming the lines of the iris of this eye that is surrounding her head in the darkness. Because of the orientation of the eye, we notice that of course it is a left eye. And if we place this painting immediately adjacent to the Last Supper scene, is this the missing eye of Horus that we find on this female archetype in Anne Boleyn, a famous character in history who happened to live in the same home as Leonardo da Vinci for three years prior to his death.